Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. This practice today is about strengthening the upper back, putting some mobility into the shoulders, and then opening up the chest. So we're mostly working on all of the upper body today. At any time, if you're feeling uncomfortable or discomfort, please stop or hold back, slow down the practice, and of course, consult your physician or your therapist to make sure that this is the right practice for you. Okay, when we do a chair yoga practice, we are always going to be seated with our feet hip width distance apart. It's always great to be settled like this. Knees are on top of the ankles, and you're going to try to have your shoulders right on top of the waist. Draw the belly in to make sure that your spine is nice and tall. Okay, this is very important. We always want to keep the posture nice and erect. Many times because in our life we're on social media or we're on our devices, we're hunched over. Even if we're carrying groceries or doing some mundane tasks of the day, like even doing the dishes, we're hunched over. So it's always really great when you take time to do this practice on the chair, you're gonna engage the belly as best as you can without too much strain. Engage the belly, supporting the lower back and up, and then strengthening your upper spine. Many of you don't know this, but I suffer from shoulder injuries. And because I'm alternative medicine, I'm an acupuncturist, I like to go the longer route, but that's the more natural route for how I heal. And what I do is I'm sharing my practice with you. What I'm sharing with you is what I do to help me feel comfortable, to help me feel um, where I'm in less pain and um, and then I also want to be able to feel strong. Okay, so we're gonna have our feet planted down onto the earth, tight belly. Okay, we're gonna take our arms all the way up, inhaling here and then exhaling, taking our hands to the heart. We're just gonna do three breaths to set ourselves, set the intention, opening up the chest, uh, strengthening the upper back and then putting some mobility into the shoulders. Breathing in and exhale, breathing out. So on every, any given day, you're gonna find out what's best for you. Let's take the hands all the way up, please. Touch the hands together. Let's go ahead and sway the arms to the side. Okay, we're still engaging our belly muscles. We're coming back up, breathing in. Don't hold your breath, please. Exhale, sway to the other side. Good. Inhale back up and exhale, open up the arms, breathe out. Inhale and exhale, release the arms. We're gonna do that again. Arms up, breathing in, hands pressed together, draw the belly in, sway to the side. Tight belly, come on back up, breathing in. Exhale, other side, you got it. Come on back up, breathing in. And exhale, breathing out. One more, let's make it three. Inhale, soft shoulders, so relax those shoulders. Tight belly, swaying to the right. Come back to center, breathing in. Sway to the left, you got it. Come back to center, breathing in. Reach up, breathing out, release. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and roll up the shoulders. Five, four, Three, two, I don't know if you're hearing my clavicle clicking here. Well, that's a nice sign that my upper back is really weak on that side. And then that's the last one, one, good. I want you to take the shoulders all the way up, squeeze, 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 and release. <sighs> Breathing in, all the way up, and release. <sighs> okay, one more time. Breathing in, and release. <sighs> Perfect. Let's take the left arm all the way up, turn the palm so it's facing down, and stretch to the side. You got it. Breathe out. Inhale, lift and lengthen up the spine, draw the belly in, relax that top shoulder, breathe out. Good. One more time. Breathing in and out, breathe out. Inhale, lift and release. Okay, other side. Arms up, arm up, and release. Breathe out. Good. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, release. You got it. One more, making it three. Inhale, lift. Keep that top shoulder relaxed. Breathe out. Perfect. Come on back up. 
and release. Okay, let's take our hands on top of the thighs. We're gonna do a seated cow. So we're opening up the chest, rolling the shoulders back and down to the tailbone, and then rounding the back to cat pose. So in this cat pose, you're reaching your fingertips to the front, drawing the belly into the back, chin to the chest, good. Inhaling, opening up the heart, focusing on beaming the top of the chest up to the sky. Good, exhale, breathing out. Again, breathing in, opening up. Exhale, breathing out. Awesome. Come back to neutral, reposition yourself, draw the belly in, let's take the arms up. Now we're working on our strengthening portion. Touch your fingers, hopefully the body's nice and warm now. We're gonna open up, show me your yoga fingers, and squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Good, breathing in, touch. Breathing out, squeeze, good. Inhale, lifting, touch. Breathing out, squeeze, awesome. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze. Two more, breathing in, touch. Exhale, squeeze those shoulder blades. Good, lift, and last one, squeeze, making it five. I believe I counted correctly. Lift, hands pressed together, hands to the heart. Breathe out. Inhale, arms open. Exhale, release. Perfect, again, in and release. Inhaling, expanding the chest, opening up the heart. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, open up. Exhale, breathing out, good. Now taking the hands in front, open up the arms. Give a high ten to the heavens and then release. Soft shoulders, focusing on lengthening the spine and opening up the chest. Breathing in, exhale, breathe out. Inhaling again, nice breath in and exhale, soft, soft shoulders, fingertips down. Let's do two more, making it five. Inhale, arms up, exhale, breathing out. Last one, breathing in and exhale, breathing out. Now, with your elbows fairly close to the body, I want you to imagine you're holding on to um, like you're taking, actually taking your hands into a fist here, and then draw the belly in, chest up. We're gonna take the arms out. So the elbows are snug into the body. Good, and release, okay? Inhaling, exhale, release. Tight belly, chest up, back straight. Inhale, release. You got it, you're doing great. Breathing in. Out. Relax those shoulders. Inhale, chest up. Keep those elbows nice and snug. Breathing out. Last one, breathing in. Breathing out. Okay, we're going to release. Now taking your hands down to the sides of you, I want you to take the left arm all the way up. Expanding. Now reaching up to the sky with the left arm, keeping the shoulder in the body. So sometimes you have a tendency to like, oh, reach too much. We're gonna overextend that shoulder. So let's bring the arm back into the body, but reach those yoga fingers up to the sky, okay? Then we're gonna take the other hand and reach those yoga fingers down to the earth. So we're expanding in the opposite direction. Breathing in here and out. Now I want you to inhale and then exhale, swing down and opposite side, okay? Same thing, same idea. Reaching and lengthening down those fingertips, down to the earth. This shoulder is rooted into the, um, the joint here, reaching the fingertips up, so we're not overextending it. Inhaling, exhaling, breathing in, and then exhale, switch. Now we're gonna do a little more dynamically now, okay? So tight belly, back straight, keep the chin in, inhale, Exhale, good. Keeping those shoulders into the body. Inhale, exhale, you got it. In, out, in, out with the breath. Inhaling, exhaling, you're tightening those belly muscles. Breathing in and out and do one more on each side. Breathing in 
and out. In and out. Breathe out. Release the arms. Okay, I want you to give yourself a great shake here. You got it. Okay. Now I want you to imagine that we're doing the opposite action of pulling the seatbelt to click it in. Okay, so we're doing the opposite action. So we're going to actually take and unclip our seatbelt. Imagine you're taking a seatbelt here on the right side with your left hand. Clip it out. Clip, breathe in, and breathe out. I want you to extend up, okay? And then show me your yoga figures. Again, down, clip it, unclip, and then extend. Open up the chest. You got it. Relax those shoulders. Beam your heart up to the sky. Unclip and open perfect again unclip open up Ooh, reach those yoga fingers i want to show me all those yoga fingers up to the sky good reach unclip and now reach up you got it breathe in and then release okay we're gonna do the other side still keeping feet firmly planted tight belly Supporting the lower back, chest up, back straight, chin tucked in slightly, other side. Clip, unclip, and expand. You got it. Unclip and expand. So if you want a different visualization, you could have, imagine you have a little satchel of magic powder and you're taking it and you're going, whoo, expanding out, okay? Spreading all that goodness from your hip satchel here. Taking it, clip, clip, and expanding. Okay? Don't forget to breathe. In and out. Expand. You got it. Inhale and expand. Let's do one more. Show me those yoga fingers. Unclip that or take that great magic dust and expand it out. Okay. Release. Ooh. Okay. Roll the shoulders up. And back please one two ah three perfect okay from here you're like okay well I've done both arms individually let's do both together so that means we're gonna cross and expand up okay so if you want to take that visualization and you have this magic dust and expand all the way out. You got it. So that really forces you to show me your yoga fingers, okay? So we're gonna do that again. In and out, expanding. Good, again, breathing in and out. You got it. In and out, Ooh. And inhaling and exhaling. You got it, release. Ooh. Okay, let's go ahead, shoulder shrug up and down. Again, breathing in and out. Again, breathing in and out. Perfect. Okay, from here, we're gonna go ahead and go back into cow pose. Inhaling, opening up the chest, rounding the back. Breathe out. A really nice articulation of the spine here. Great, okay, let's try that again. Breathing in, open up, exhale rounding the back. We're going to do one more. Breathing in and exhale. Breathing out. Okay, come back to neutral spine. We're going to go ahead and take our fingertips on top of the shoulder. I want you to raise the elbows up and then rotate them around. You got it. In, up with the breath. Exhale, breathing out. So imagine you're making little or big circles with your elbows drawing them into the air. No tension in the wrists, just fingertips are placed on top of the shoulders. We're gonna do two more. Two, don't get to breathe, and one. Now, because we're in the groove with this, I want you to do alternating, and I want you to feel yourself to be free of moving the upper body and the chest and the back. Okay, so we're making big, big circles now, up, and around, drawing with our elbows up, around, inhaling, exhaling. Okay, good, we're putting flexibility into the spine, we're working into our upper back while opening up the chest. All really wonderful moves for our shoulders. Good, let's do two more, one, you breathing? Two, now it's only fair if we go backwards, we have to go forward. 
But this is the yin and yang of our practice. So now, reversing it and being a little more exaggerated here, you'll notice that I look like I'm really grooving into my chair. So I want you to really big, big circles. Inhaling, exhaling, and of course you don't have to go as fast as I am. Maybe I'm being a little too hyper, but you need to do it at your pace. We're gonna do two more on each side. Ooh, there it is. And that's the last one. Wonderful. Roll yourself back up. Shake everything out. <sighs> okay. Breathing in and out. Perfect. And then let's take the arms expanded here. Amazing. Relax the shoulders. Only do this at your pace and at your level where you are. If you need to bend the elbows, do that. Make sure your practice is good and happy for you. In this pose right now, we're gonna go for a twist. Keeping the chest nice and beamed up to the sky, belly nice and tight, we're going to twist to the side. Breathe, good. Come back to center and breathe. Good, come back to center. If you wanna expand, go ahead. Imagine you're pushing a wall at either side of you. Breathe in, breathe out, twist, you got it. Inhale back to center. Twist to the other side, amazing. Inhale and then release, breathe out. Okay, back into those arms. So we're gonna shake it out a little, give it a little shake. And then go ahead and take the arms back out here. In this posture now, making sure the belly's still tight, we're gonna imagine we're drawing nice little circles with our fingertips on each side. So I'm doing circles going outward and I'm going small, to bigger and bigger and bigger. And depending on your shoulders and how weak or strong they are, this you may already be feeling intense fatigue like I am. Whoosh. Okay, keep on breathing. Use your breath to help you through your practice. Wonderful. So we're going from big, we went from small to big, and now we're going from big Back to baby ones, little, 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 little circles, mini, mini ones, mini, and release. Ooh. Okay, now this calls for our Chinese medicine portion. We're gonna just go ahead and tap into it. Let's go tap into our shoulder, top of the shoulder, gallbladder 21. As most of you know, I'm an acupuncturist and a yoga teacher, so I always like to add in this little yin yang tapping on our meridians. So we're gonna tap on the top of our shoulder, Tap onto the shoulder, give it a little bit of a rub here. Love you, shoulder. Nice positive energy to our body. And then we're gonna go ahead and tap down, tap into the inner side, all the way through the chest. And then go ahead and tap on the top. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, and then on down and on the inside, nicely. Come across the chest, tap, tap, tap here and release. Okay, now we're going to take the arms back out. We're going to go ahead and do those circles the opposite way. So we were doing outward circles. Now we're going inside. It's only fair to do internal rotations now. So small little circles you're drawing. It'd be amazing if we had canvases on each side, what they would look like. What colors would you use? Okay, expanding, bigger, 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 chest up, tight belly, Keep it going, and of course, you don't have to go as uh, fast as I'm going. Go slower, do your pace, do you. I think I probably had way too much coffee this morning. Definitely excitable. Okay, keep it going, and don't forget to breathe. And then smaller, smaller, smaller. And as you're doing this, I'd like you to focus on you know, is one side harder than the other? So when you practice this, maybe on your own without the video, you start with the grumpy side first, okay? Breathe in and release, well done. Do you feel like it needs a tap? How about a big loving stroke here? So down and up, across, down, nice firm pressure and up and across. Let's do two more. Down, up, across, down, up, across. <sighs> I want you to 
to take notice. How do the shoulders feel? How does the upper back and chest feel from this practice? Take a breath here. I really appreciate you joining my practice today. I hope you can find relief, a little bit of strength, and you know, a bit of chest opening with this practice for your overall healing journey of your shoulders. Let's take our hands together to close our practice. Well done, everyone. Namaste.